Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial video for Scrapbox. In this video I will teach you things about the proxies and how to use the keyword functions. If you want to have success rate, you have to use proxies. With Scrapbox you can use public proxies or private proxies. I recommend you to use private proxies because if you use public proxies you will have little success rates. For private proxies, I recommend you to use buyproxies.org. This uh, service offers you two possibilities, the semi-dedicated proxies or the fully dedicated proxies. I recommend you the second one because with the first one, uh, the proxies can be banned from Google very fast. So, if you want to use public proxies, you can get some from Scriptbox. To do that, you have to click on Manage and Harvest Proxies. Then you can select your sources. For my part, I select all the sources. And you can have your own sources by clicking here. So to get the public proxies, we click on Start. You can see we get some proxies. So I will click on stop and apply. We can wait, OK. We have a public proxies list. To know if they work with Google, we can test them by clicking here, test all proxies. And we have to wait that this test is finished. So I will pause the video and back after it's finished. OK, so the test is finished and we can see here at the bottom of the window that we don't have a lot of Google Past proxies, we just have one Google proxy. So to keep it, we click on Filter, Keep Google Proxy and we have the Google Proxy. And to keep it on Scrapbox, we click on Save and Save Proxy to Scrapbox. OK, close and we have the proxy here. So I really recommend you to use private proxies to get very, very good result with this software. So now we have talked about the proxies. We can see some options here. We can decide to use proxies for Google, Yahoo, Bing or AOL. Uh, for my part, I just use proxies for Google and I keep uh, this option selected. And I keep result to 200. OK, so now how to use the keyword scraper function. With this uh, function, you can have a great list of keywords based on your main keywords. To scrape keywords, we click on scrape, keyword scraper, and we enter our main keywords. So I will enter a keyword, by example this, and we click on scrape. But you can select here your search engine. I will use google.com and click on scrape. OK, it's finished and we got a lot of keywords based on my main keyword. OK, if you want more keywords, you can copy this list and paste here. Then we scrap again. OK, we wait until it's finished. OK, it's finished and we have a huge list of keywords. So we can filter this by remove duplicates. OK. And we have unique keywords here. We can remove some keywords. By example, if some keywords contain a character or a word, we can type the word or the character here and click on OK. But I will keep this list and click on Send to Scriptbox and close. And OK, we have my keyword list. As you can see, I've got a huge list of keywords on only one minute. 
That's all for this video. In the next video, I will teach you how to scrape websites if you want to comment blog, if you want to do blog comments or other. Thank you.